Hey girls, it's Clancy and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks I have on how to get tan during the summertime. As we speak, I'm not tan at all. I mean, I do have like maybe a little bit of a summer glow, but like I have not been like in that sun on that lounge chair that I'm currently staring at that you can't see but I can in quite some time because I've been having a weird schedule where I'm a night lurker and not a morning feaster. What? I don't even know. Feasting in the sun? What? Anyways, but yeah, so my schedule's been like, I get up at like 11, by the time I go to like work out, it's 11.30, work out, then I pause to be on my laptop for quite some time. By the time I know it, it's like 3 or 4, and I can't tan, so that's why I'm really not tan, but I'm going to be continuing this little recipe for success um, starting tomorrow and I'm gonna be waking up early and I'm going to be soaking up that Sun okay so first I'm gonna kind of tell you my skin type my skin tone kind of see where we sit with that okay so basically I am Irish yeah being Irish sucks for skin wise for the Sun you know what I mean I don't have any of that Latino in me I don't even know we're Italian and you not just a Latino whatever um so I do get freckles so that is why my face is 50 times less tan than my stomach right now my stomach isn't even what people would probably consider tan but look at how much tanner my stomach is than my face look at my face and then I'll show you my stomach you kind of see my tan line oh yeah you can see that see so we kind of do have something we are working with but yes so I do like to keep my face protected and I will put sunscreen on my face for a few days like a couple weeks ago I was getting a little carried away with the sun and I was putting sun tanning oil on my face but it was just I want to protect my face I do I'm not trying to get wrinkles when I'm 50 on my body wrinkle it away I don't really care no but um so first let me first just start off by talking about face face I will put something like this on which is SPF 30 copper tone sport um, I'll rub spray it on my hands boom 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 all over my face however I will not let a drop of this touch my body if this touches your body you're really not gonna get tan with this I mean I know there's gonna be comments below oh but I'm Latina well I can tan with SPF 90 like okay well I can all right so wind, what's up? So pretty much I have two products, which are my little secrets, my loves of my lives, which allow me, an Irishman, if you will, to tan in the summertime. Because I feel all of you Irish people, I feel all of you guys who can't tan. That was me up until these two products, which just changed my life. So first I'm going to be starting off with the one that I discovered first, which I have talked about before on like Instagram, I believe. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me, ClancyB underscore. Um, and my old account did get hacked, so that kind of sucks, but I have a new one. <laughs> um, so the first product is the Banana Boat Protective Tanning Oil in SPF 15, and that SPF 15 is crucial. Without the SPF 15, that's disgusting. You can't just dump tanning oil on you. Like, are you crazy? Especially if you're Irish. So the SPF 15 really, really helps. I can spurt this on, lay out wherever, um, whether it be like North Carolina, which is where I was using it, or here, where I am now. Um, which is all the way on the north. This stuff is amazing. Let's say skin is less sensitive to the sun than me. Guess what? It comes in SPF 4 also, and I'm pretty sure like an even lower SPF. I don't something like that. So SPF 15 isn't even your only option if your skin is not as sensitive as mine. And the only downside to this spray is that you have to literally spritz. It's not like a. F but the good thing about a spritzer is that you don't waste product. I found the. You know that that's I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but like where it like goes like that. With those, you waste a lot of product. You just do. With this, it's like you really don't. But you spritz it all on, and it's amazing. Bonus side, it smells beautiful. Downside, it smells beautiful. The reason I put that in both is because a you want to smell good. That's amazing. B it will attract bugs. That's what sucks, but it's not a big deal at all. Just swat those suckers away, and you're good to go. And then the other product, which I just started using recently, is the Copper Tone Tanning Dry Oil Sunscreen Spray in SPF 10. And I really, basically, only use this stuff when I'm lazy, so I can do the because this is the kind. Um, other than that, I prefer this so much more. I just do this stuff. Like, leaves me feeling like. I mean, obviously, I'm oily when I use this stuff, but with this, it's like. A gross it's like a layer forms on my skin that you can like peel off. it's disgusting um, but yeah so pretty much this is just an alternative option if you're more of the convenient like on the go type person but personally I kind of recommend this more I do both are water resistant which is amazing because one of my other main tips is to get in the water water and the Sun are like best friends they 
the water is attracted to the sun, the sun is attracted to the water, they come together. AKA, if you're wet, you will tan quicker. It's just a known fact. So if you have this stuff and you can't go in the water, that sucks. Because not only does it suck, because I literally can't stay on my lounge chair for more than like 10 minutes when it's like 90 degrees. I need to hop in my pool. And so I have my pool and I don't have to be like, oh my gosh, like I have to reapply, like this sucks. No, it's all water resistant and it's amazing. Another huge tip is do not forget about your feet, under your feet and your ears because I feel like those always get forgotten about and when they burn, they burn. Also your lips. I've heard a lot of people lately talking about their, their lips are sunburned, a whole bunch of people, and that's never happened to me, but it sounds painful, so don't forget about your lips. But anyways, the ears do burn, like, oh my gosh, and personally, when I go outside, I'm not wearing my hair down, like, all curled and nice. No, my hair's on top of my head, and my ears are shown. Also, when you're laying, your feet are out, so under your feet could get burnt, so be careful with that. But yeah, pretty much that's it. I just had a couple quick tips. So basically, happy tanning to you guys. <laughs> and both of these products can be picked up at CVS, and I don't think they're too expensive. Maybe like seven or eight bucks. I don't know. But it's definitely worth it, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, girls, it's Clint. I said that really weird. We're gonna go go around. I'm with you some of my little tips, and no, that was weird. What? Water. The sun is attract. That's so awkward.